but uh, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon once again. Um, I'd like to echo what everyone is uh, Dulo was all about making everyone happy. If he found you sad, he would make sure by the time he's leaving you, you're happy. And that's very symbolic. By the time he's leaving you, by the time he's leaving you, you're happy. You're happy. So I have so much to say about this young man. He challenged me in so many things. Of course, I can't play basketball. Of course, I can't play football. But uh, let me read what I took forever to write. <laughs> because if I don't read, I will talk here the whole day and we, we don't want to do that. So, when I realized I was pregnant, I felt I wasn't ready. And since in those days, back in the day, there, were, there was no pressure of knowing the gender. So, I wasn't worried about you being a girl or a boy. I was worried about the human we were supposed to take care of. I was young and uncertain, but because I love kids, I still love kids, I chose you, I chose to be with you. When I held you in my arms for the first time and looked into your eyes, all the uncertainty went out through the window and I knew I had made the right decision. You made motherhood so, so beautiful and gave me purpose, you gave me hope, and it was us against the world. Joe, you are empathetic, very handsome, charming, charismatic, funny, ambitious, sporty, and in the recent past, you had an appetite for three. You had already envisioned your life after high school, and I was ready for any challenges that would halt your vision, because remember, it was us against the world. You wanted to be a pilot, and you had promised me that you'd fly me around the world, and our first destination would have been Kobe Bryant's Memorial Park, since you love basketball so much. In the recent past, you would love bracelets so much, and one of the days, you came home adorning one with my brand name, Kareli, because he's a young star, Hamunaskeni Moanaimba, I do Mogibi, and he always laughed at me singing Mogibi. He even used to ask me, Nani anaskiza Mogibi? But when he came back to that bracelet, um, it made me understand that you appreciated my sacrifices and that you appreciated my sleepless nights to give you the best I could. Some nights you would stay up late waiting for me to come back home from work and when I got home you would tell me, Mabe, you used to call me Mabe. I to Mabe honestly, but if it came from Joe, I would take it. So you used to tell me, Mabe, Go and sleep, I'll take care of Jeremy as you rest. Um, when I heard you were traveling back home from school at night for the first time, I stayed up the whole night waiting for you to come home. And indeed, you got home. Home to your father in heaven. Tears cannot wash away the pain. The sad reality will never go away. Your beautiful memories are my healing journey. The beautiful tributes 
from everybody. And with that, I choose not to mourn you. I choose to celebrate you. Joe, I love you beyond the moment. Thank you. Let's give a big clap to Mama Jo. Kare, I think between being called uh, Made and Wemze, <laughs> I think Made sounds much, much better. <laughs> we was used to being called Wemze. Anyway, I think uh, that brings us to the end of the tributes. And uh, before, before I leave, I think it's only courteous for me to recognize family. Uh, that are in the room. So I'll start with the Shoshos and Ukas from both sides of the family. I see some that are here, you can just stand and wave apart from the auntie. But the rest, Shoshos and Ukas, if you can just stand and wave, Shoshos and Ukas of Joe, both sides of the family. Let's give a wave. Thank you very much. Uh, Morrison, I know it's not easy for you, somebody I, I saw when I was in primary school, and that's now a funny story. I remember you at Lanata Barracks, you might not <laughs> remember that. All the way to the theatre, Paulus and let's hear what you have to say about uh, Iron Man. Thank you, Murray. Yes, I am Joe, Joe Matulu's father, and I plan to say something, I'll tell something, I want to come and teach for the view, but I don't think I will do so. I'll just speak openly about my son. I appreciate the Lord for his doing, and uh, I really appreciate the tribute you're giving to Joe because you're saying exactly what very friendly, very charming. He was very, very active in sports. One thing I will not forget about Joe for me is I was not that active in sports. Mariah used to play a lot of football, he used to knock me down. Joe used to play basketball, I played basketball in high school. And I was really surprised when he had, I just I was surprised by the fact that he enjoyed basketball more than football and uh, I would say probably it's his blood. Uh, one major thing I remember Joe for is he really loved to challenge my English and he really liked to do hard words, hard English words. Words that sometimes I don't know where he used to put them off. And as a writer, I would say he had a lot in him that I feel was taken away and cannot do so much other than just appreciate the fact you loved Joe. And it's not going to be easy for many of you here. So it's, going, it's not going to be easy also for me, but I have to forge on ahead and have to believe and trust the Lord. Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening. Thanks. Thanks uh, very much, Morrison. Uh, I'll see you at Google, as I want to call you. Now, uh, Wangari, time you came and shared with us your life journey with our little boy. <laughs> 